Oh, um, it is fast becoming one of our most popular segments, second only to What in the Weird. It's our good humans of the week. And this week we are shining a light on Amar Singh and his superb charity, Turbans for Australia, which raises money for a whole bunch of really good causes. Please welcome Amar. Lovely Thank to you. see you again. How are you? Great to see you. Thank you. Um, now, firstly, um, tell us a bit about your charity and why you started it. Well, Turbans for Australia is to show that um, us guys from the sea community that wear the turbans, where you look the odd ones out, but being Australian, I've been here 20 years, I want to just be part of the society. So yep. this is our way of giving back to the place that we live, work, and sort of, you know, uh, are, you know, doing every, everyday things. Uh, and charity is one way of doing it too. So we've done various projects, as hay, hay run for the farmers out to Canamble, awesome. different grocery drives, Christmas toy drives. It just to give new migrants from our community as well a chance yep. to interact with other people to say, wow, they're just people like us. Exactly. And also works both ways when people think, oh, you know, like as an ethnic minority that they want to fit into the society that we are. Because we're not about just standing alone. It's all about being together, being fabric of the society and helping yep. out people in need. Awesome. But it's just cultural harmony that you're promoting, isn't Pretty it? Pretty much, yeah. Yes. Multicultural and diversity and also main thing that I see is when people see a person in a turban, they always ask three questions. How long is your hair? I how was long... going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> and how long is your turban and how you tie it? So no, we do good. this turban tying thing where so people take it as a token. Yep. To, and then when they see somebody in the street, they think, oh, well, we, we met these guys, you know, it's all right. So, it's, it's so tell of, us about the significance of the turban and also how long is your hair? My hair is not very long because I started going very late. <laughs> cool. uh, but normally they can, you know, sort of go up to your waist. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah. And can well, I try one on? Put, yeah, yeah we're going to do, do a little turban on Joe, so okay. I'll get you to hold uh, this side, mate. Yeah. Just hold that cliff for me, please. Yep. So you've been raising and money for the drought as well, haven't you? Yes, yes. So we've, we've done a couple of drought trips. Um, we've also done a... Um, uh, at the moment, we're raising money for a homeless meals kitchen. Oh, Fantastic. That's lovely. Um, we've been lucky enough to couple of, get a couple of grants from the local MP, our Liverpool Lions Club. Uh, but it's just um, one of those things that we need more money to raise and uh, help our people in need. Fantastic. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> and um, we've got your uh, dancers here. We're about to see a performance from your group. Just tell us a little bit about the dance <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and how that works. Don't okay. try to do it as quickly as I can. <laughs> <But> <laughs> we've got to wait till he gets yeah, his turn. We've got to get the, we've got to get the turn on. Yeah. So look, this Magnum. is. Um, oh, look at that. One of my favourite colours. Beautiful, I love it. I love it. I okay. I'm not. I'm now fully sick. That's okay. the way, mate. <laughs> okay, and uh, we've got your group here. They're going to perform for us. Yeah. So this is the traditional dance from northern India called Bhangra, and this right. guy's going to rock the stage. So I hope everyone enjoys. Fantastic. Fantastic. Rock and roll. Take it away. Yeah. Take it away.